I've been flying HD0 for a long time, but before it was called HD0, it was known as Sharkbite with this module right here. Sharkbite! Enough of the Sharkbite! Sharkbite! With the true RC antennas, the system itself is becoming more complete every day. That's why we're going to be showing you the latest camera out there, the Nano V2. This one is a much smaller and lighter form factor, but uses the same great sensor as the Micro V2. If you look, especially at daytime, the images are absolutely beautiful. The colors are there. It's exactly what we want with that low latency. But what if you actually wanted to switch over to HD Zero and use their new module because you can't actually buy this anymore. And this gives you quite a number of upgrades, including the rail system that allows some really spectacular antenna mounting on here, the likes of which you've almost never even seen. So we're gonna test the performance of this bad boy. There's so many little upgrades here and there over the original formula. And I've noticed over time that Joe Mama's DVR in his unit, he's been using the updated one, always looks a little, little bit cleaner than mine. And we're gonna talk about the reasons for that. The Sharkbite module compared to the new HD Zero. How can you get your hands on one? This one you essentially can't buy anymore. So this is the replacement. You can see it's a very similar size and shape. It has gained just a slight bit of thickness, but it'll mount to your goggles in the same way. This is the 3D printed uh, piece that I've done. So it's actually very easy to swap these out for when you're not flying digital, you just kind of slap that off and if i wanted to switch to this one i can slide it on just like that now let's take a look the hdmi port is basically in the same spot so you would just plug that in i do like that they've moved the sd card holder a little bit in the original version your cable would kind of block that now they've moved it over to this side so it'll be much easier to get to that sd card when you want to be able to review your footage now this one had some patch antennas uh, that were defaulted here. This is the upgrade TrueRC version with the TrueRC stubbies. This one though gives you four SMAs so that you can configure it how you would like and it has this rail system on the front. You can do four Omnis if you're not flying very far and flying around yourself or you can do a system of patch and Omni combination like Joe Mama has been doing. He has the upgrade quad antennas for the front as well as the stubby zone. So I think what I may do is since we've been doing all different kind of patch combinations, I may actually try four-way Omni on this. And we'll take this out to the night spot and see how it performs. Um, so out with the old, in with the new. Which one do you like better? I do like the extra flexibility of this so that you can run Omnis, patches, any combination of both. You could run four-way patches on this if you wanted to. We ain't got no patches. I don't have to show you any stinking patches. It also has an internal mic and various other features and upgrades. So if you want to get on HD0, you already have a premium set of goggles. This is the way to do it. It works perfectly. My favorite goggle for the system is the Skyzone 04X V2. You can also work it with the HD02s, but that only lets you do 16x9. This will let you do 4x3 if you have one of the cameras like the Micro V2 or the new Nano V2. Now, it also will work with the Orcas, uh, but the fitment isn't as easy as just sliding it onto this fan thing like it will for the sky zone So let's go out to the nice spot try this out now What comes in the package you get your update cables right here? This is what you're gonna need to be able to update your video transmitters that plugs into the man the module and You apply your updates that way a cable that has power for the module itself as well as for your goggles This is unregulated though So if you do plug in a 6s make sure that your goggles can take 6s like these cameras it comes with this little controller for updating camera settings right there as well as this little fan cover that you can use to it permanently attach to your goggles but I like this slide on system better and one of these HDMI uh, micro cables right there but what everybody really wants to know is when are the goggles coming out one of the goggles coming out there is a few sets Ryan has one and I believe Noikel. like I don't know if those are the same set or two different sets they will be in beta testers' hands in the coming weeks, uh, but I'm not really sure whether or not you will be able to buy a set for Christmas or not. There will be a small initial batch coming out, but nobody knows exactly the date. It could be Thanksgiving, it could be Christmas, uh, hopefully, 
let's not be shooting for St. Patty's Day, but let's be patient, guys. Who else is giving us open source tech? Technology, HD, low latency. What else are you going to do? Buy walk snails? <laughs> That's absolutely laughable. I'm just kidding, guys. You will get to know. You will get to know on this system. And as soon as we know, we'll let you know. <laughs> I just noticed you had the new module. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>